However, the Supreme Court has upheld the validity of the criminal defamation law. It means you can be jailed for up to two years if found guilty of defamation charges. The court observed that a balance has to be struck between the reputation of an individual and freedom of speech. It's a case that interestingly found Rahul Gandhi, his family's chief beta, BJP leader Subramaniam Swami, as well as Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal all on the same side. They had all challenged the criminal defamation law after having cases under the law slapped on them. They had argued that the law was antiquated, often misused and violative of the constitution. But the centre and various state governments had taken the stand that these legal provisions must be retained as they deter people from aligning the reputation of others and scrapping the law would lead to anarchy. Today's verdict means Rahul Gandhi, Subramaniam Swami and Arvind Kejriwal will now have to face trial in these cases. For more on that, let's now go across to my colleague Vedya Nathan, who joins us live from the Supreme Court, where there are very important verdict there. The petitioners had argued that this law is often misused, but clearly the Supreme Court had a different view. Exactly, all political leaders, right from Subramaniam Swami, Mr. Rahul Gandhi, and from Tamil Nadu, Mr. Captain Vijay Gant, all have argued saying that this is being misused to gag them by the ruling party in power. Even the centre. And the states opposed is completely saying that in social media within a minute the damage is done and the individual's reputation at stake. So buying that argument, Supreme Court today upheld the IPC 499 500, that's the criminal defamation law, and said that magistrates who are issuing notices on the defamation cases will have to be more careful. So now what happens to the cases pending against Mr. Rahul Gandhi, Mr. Subramanian Swami and a host of others, including journalists and media houses? Already the proceedings have been stayed in respect of those who came to the Supreme Court. Now the stay has been extended for a further period of eight weeks so that they can approach the High Court contesting the summons. The Supreme Court in its verdict said that uh, uh, it is very difficult to accept that the defamation case, uh, the defamation laws has a chilling effect on the freedom of speech and expression. At the same time it said individual's reputation cannot be sullied just because one says freedom of expression is at most. Right, Vedya, one very quick clarification. Uh, unless there is some relief from the High Court, the Supreme Court has made it clear that Arvind Kejriwal, Subramaniam Swami and uh, Rahul Gandhi all will have to now face trial in the defamation cases that have been filed against them? Exactly. Let me explain. Suppose uh, notice has already been issued which has been stayed by, by the Supreme Court, so there is no trial. So they can go to the High Court, contest the summons. If the, even the High Court rules against them, they can come to Supreme Court, fight their cases individually. So right now, Supreme Court has appealed the law, but each case has its own, uh, uh, own, own issues. So Supreme Court can look into the different cases of the different leaders at an individual way at a later stage when they come to Supreme Court.